What up, what up, what up? This is Bruce and this is Cowabunga Comics and Collectibles. Ah, it feels good to finally make another video. I haven't made a video in I think two weeks maybe? A week? I don't know, it felt like a while. But um, I got a lot of these books. So a lot of these books, you know, stem from last week and maybe the week before. Um, I got all these books but seven from Vince, Semper Fi comic guy. Um, if you guys can't find a book... Or can't get any books because you don't have an LCS or the LCS is way too far for you to get to like myself. Um, he he gets me books and he'll do that for anybody that needs help, man. And um, so I just wanted to put that, you know, anybody that was, uh, what's that word, skeptical? Or had any doubt that it was like some type of sham? No, it's real, man. And he sent me all these books, man. And, and I appreciate it. And uh, you just give him a list and all you got to do is pay for the books, obviously, and then the shipping. And you have your books because I used to get my books from uh, Midtown, and they took forever. I got I ordered like I don't know, maybe twenty, twenty-five books, and I, it took a month, pretty much, to get those books. And it, and you, when when I try to watch Blast of the Stash it, I'm behind. So when they're talking about the books, it's like fuck. Now I don't need to read the books because they're talking about them. So that was, that was one thing. So he, he was like, you know what? I'll help you out. And he's he won't just help me out. He'll help anybody else out that needs that. So if you need some books that are coming out, especially this Wednesday, is going to be a big DC release and independent. There's going to be a lot of big books coming out. And um, and you might not be able to get them, especially independents. A lot of shops don't uh, order certain independents because you got to order a certain amount. Or they just don't know about it. So hit up Simplify Comic Guy, man. He's an awesome dude. Got a great channel. He does all types of contests. He's part of the Blast of Stashy crew. He also helps uh, Comic Noob uh, do the the um, the auctions that are on Saturdays. Blast of the Stash, it's on Friday at 10 o'clock Eastern. 8 o'clock for me because I'm uh, Mountain Time. And then um, the Silent Auction as well. Same time, but on Saturday. And um, you'll have a great time there. You got a lot of people in the chat talking. Comic Noob, he's just funny as fuck. That's my boy. Who Dad be selling great comics. Big Bear be selling great comics. Um, Aim High Comics, he was on there. He had some great books. He also had some great alcohol he was showing off too. Shout out to him. He did a contest and I gave away two copies of the Justice League 51, the Era page. And that's going about mm, almost 100 bucks. So to give away two of those books, especially so early in the game, you know. You got to appreciate things like that. But anyway, I'm going to just show off these books because I got a lot of books to go at, uh, <clears throat> to go through and a lot of contest entries that I'm going to go through. So, uh, Simplify, I'm going to enter your contest. Huey's Comics, he's got a contest going on. Uh, my boy, Who That, got the Who That box contest going on. For, the, for his hundred subscribers, congratulations, brother, man, you deserve it. You put out great videos, great content. He's a content. He's a great dude, and uh, you could catch him late night with David Letter Noob. Haha. -ha. Anyway, so the first book is Brick Number One from Oni Press, and it was a two dollar issue. I love I love this issue because it's in the very first scene. Dude get punched in the face and robbed, and he's like. I hate Yonkers. That's where I'm from. Yonkers, New York. That's just what it is. So I like this book. Four Kids Walking to a Bank. Issue number two. Haven't read this yet, but I heard it's pretty, pretty trippy. I like the cover. It looks like old school 1980 Nintendo game. Maybe even Sega. So uh, I plan on reading this pretty soon. I got a lot of books to read. I've been real busy, so I'm falling behind a little bit. Superman Rebirth number two. I'm just loving Rebirth. I'm gonna try to collect all the Rebirths because um, I was late on New Fifty Two. So because I just got into the, I've been collecting for about two and a half, almost three years now. So to start something from number one is pretty cool. Plus I like what's going on. I haven't read this issue yet, but I like. Uh, I did like issue number one. Indoctrinate indoctrination <laughs> that's a hard one for me chapter number one issue number one um i don't know what company this is from but i heard good things about this one I haven't read it yet but I, I do plan on reading it 
Black Panther number three. Great series so far. I haven't read this issue. Like I said, I'm falling behind. I like the cover. It's pretty badass. Hillbilly number one. Gotta grab these, man. Anything by Eric Powell is gonna be on fire to me. And, and not right away, neither. They'll, they'll, they'll be up there in the years to come. Because it's just a great story. And the art's really good. The paper stock is great. I can't wait for issue number two. I'm pretty sure they'll sell out before it releases. So if you could try to, if you could pre-order it, I would. Flintstones, number one, badass story. This is the Day Dustin Nugent variant. I love his artwork, the way he does with the watercolors and stuff like that. And um, he did the Descender as well. So I really like his stuff. So thank you, Semper Fi, for giving me this cover. J Street Protective Services, Black Mask, issue number one. I heard good things about this one, too. Can't wait to read this one. Green Lanterns, number two. Ooh, like Comic Noob says. Look at that ass. Back, uh, look at that ass. Uh, uh. Green Arrow, number two. Neil Adams uh, variant. I, I really like this cover by Neil Adams. Hell yeah. I think he took some acid back in the day. To me, anyway. Can't wait to read that one. Aquaman number two. It's okay story so far. But um, I will continue to read it. Of course, Batman number two. Awesome stuff. Calendar Man getting his ass busted in the beginning. Also, whipping some ass, too. Gotham and Gotham Girl. You know, teaming up with Batman and stuff. That's going to be pretty big. Just can't wait to see what happens in issue number three. Uh, Captain America, second print, Storenko cover. And it looks exactly like the first one. Can anybody tell me the difference? Because I don't see the difference. It looks exactly the same. Maybe the background's a little different. I got to pull out my other one and see what see what the difference is but second print Storenko cover love his artwork he's a legend so that's why I picked that one up and of course Walking Dead 156 big key issue I think uh it's long enough you know the death of Alpha it's been about a week already so everybody knows okay Dark Souls all right I made a video not too long ago I got this on eBay, and then on eBay, I got a messed up copy, uh, and then the picture and the <clears throat> the description was totally different from the book that I got, so the dude finally sent me these two in the mail. It took like a month, two weeks, well, it felt like a month, and the book's still fucked up. It's got a bunch of spine ticks and all these, that's part of the, you know, the book, and it's not supposed to be like that, so he sent me another fucked up book. And then he sent me this one, which is the second print. So at the end of the day, I'm not mad. You know, it is what it is. What can you do? Can't please everybody. But at least I got three books for 12 bucks. So I'm kind of, it's pretty much pain cover. That's what I got to say. But thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Power Rangers issue number four. The villain variant. Story's good. I like where it's going. Um, it slowed down a little bit, but I'm a big Power Rangers fan, so I will continue to read the series on. And I just like this cover. This dude, I forget his name. I'm sorry, it's been a while. He's he's a funny guy. I appreciate it. The artwork on this, and uh, I just like the covers. I like the villain covers that they come out with. Captain America issue number two. It was okay. Um... Everybody knows what's going on with this one. They backed up out of it. They switched the story up. But that was to be expected. I like the cover, though. I really do. Oh, I got this from Midtown. Defender, fighting censorship to the max. This was a free book. Um, I don't think it's a comic, though. But it says issue six. It's, I don't know what this is. I got to look at it. But it doesn't seem like it's a comic. But for free... That's what's up. Of course, the Punisher number three. Put it this way. Badass cover. Haven't read it yet. And then, of course, 
I went crazy with five of these covers. Spider-Man 15, first appearance of Mary Jane in the iron suit. There's also a death in there. But this is Alex Ross cover. And he's badass, dude. So, a lot of people went crazy. I thought I went crazy. Maze and Murfinator went way crazier than me. I think he bought 10 of those suckers. But I got five. I got five on it. But anyway, those are my books. This is Kyle Bunga Comics and Collectibles. And I'm out of here. I'll, I'll be making another video making all these entries to these contests. I'm out of here. Peace.